Okay, so here is one of the six Kion Kumites that I have for you guys. Now, I'll have it spelled out right here, Kion Kumite. What does that mean? Well, Kumite means grappling hands. So a partner sort of fight sequence. So one-on-one, -on -one, most of the time, against each other in combat, okay? And Kion means the basics. So right now we are looking at the basics of hand-to-hand -hand combat. And these are gonna be split up into six. All right, everybody, here we are. The sixth Kion Kumite, your final, completes the whole package here, the six Kion Kumites that we have for you guys. Um, if you guys haven't already checked out the partner blocking video, come on guys, this is the last Kion Kumite, you guys gotta check that out. It's gonna help you with the Kion Kumites, with the breakdowns of the Kadas. Okay, you guys need to check those out, all right? Also, I'll be leaving the five other Kion Kumites all in the description below. Check those out guys, okay? You guys will need those. And as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, this looks like the trickiest, but yet more fun Kion Kumite here. And I won't say too much right now. Let's just get into it. Our first, okay? Right here, Brianna's gonna go left leg in front. Okay, so the thing about this Kyok Mate here, obviously you guys saw that it looked like I did a throw over myself where actually this is more of a hip slash sweep throw. Okay, it's a mixture of the two. I'm not throwing her completely with my hip. I'm kind of adding a sweep to it. If you guys didn't catch that when I did it, quick in the beginning of this video, okay? So, again, performing this one here, you'll be doing the same thing, block, grab, okay? After your sweep, sorry, before your sweep. From this point right here, the distraction that we have for our number six is a choke, okay? Like this. Very, very good distraction technique right here, okay? After this choke right here, I'll get a little bit closer. We'll actually show you guys a down part of my feet, okay? I'm gonna come in and around, so I'm facing the same way. Right now, I am in a Kibadachi stance, okay? I'll leave a link in the video for that, in the description below for that video, you guys can check it out. I'm going to then twist her across my body, and then move a little bit closer in, and take out the only foot she's standing on, so that she twirls in the air, and again lands on her side. And then I will throw my punch, okay? There we go. That one was performed slow. Obviously, you guys can go back to the beginning of the video to see it quick, but I'll do it quicker again as the video goes on. So, this one right here is a great Kion Kumite to do. If you are a bigger guy, or if you're being encountered by somebody who is close to the same size as you, okay? I'm able to do it with some people who are around six feet, five foot 11, probably 50 pounds heavier than me, but anything out of that arena, I struggle with myself because of my height and my weight, okay? But if you meet the criteria where you're a bigger guy or you are, again, somebody who's around the same size, same weight, same height as you, this is a great one to go to, okay? Now, if you guys check out Kion Kumite number three, that video there, I'll put in the description below, the link for that video, I think I'll put it first for you guys. I explain, after you're done a sweep, how you should be placed, okay? For this Kion Kumite, it still matters, but not as much. Now, if you look at Kion Kumite number three, number five, they are very much in common. You can see that when I sweep them, they're bought, they're, they don't, they don't leave the floor completely, okay? They don't, they aren't lifted off the ground completely. They can make a big bang when they're swept quickly on the ground, but it's more of a sliding motion down to the ground. Whereas in the number six, at a certain point, they are about this high off the ground, and then they come bang on the ground, 
which gives them actually a big chance of being winded. So that's less of a chance for you to be pulled across their body so that they bring you to the ground. Of course, it can happen so that the stance when you guys are doing the sweep, and the person has landed, the stance does matter a lot still, okay? So, right now, we're going to be showing you guys a portion of it from the feet, okay? Okay, so here we are with a nice closer version right here. This is going to be the foot aspect of it, okay? So we're gonna be looking at the feet. So Brianna will go into her stance again. Uh, so you guys probably won't be able to see it. Well, maybe you will, but anyways, let's go into it. So she's doing her face punch aim. I'm doing my block, okay? I'm doing my grab, my choke. Now, you guys can slow the video down a little bit. I'll slow it down a little bit as well, okay? But if you wanna slow it down even slower, you guys can do that. So I have my left leg in front, my right leg in back, okay? What I'm going to do is, if you see her right foot, it's obviously pointing the opposite direction as me, okay? What I need to do is make sure that our feet point the same way, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right foot, when I'm reaching around behind her like this, I'm placing this foot here to get into my kibidachi. So our right feet, both of our right feet are right beside each other, okay? And that is crucial for when you perform the sweep, all right? Now you guys can actually see this, so that's good. When I'm in this position here, I need to be in a nice, strong kibidachi. Most of my weight is actually slanted into this leg a little bit to kind of push her off balance, all right? So from here, I'm gonna grab this part of her and I'm going to twist her across my body. I'm going to put that in the top right corner to twist her body, keep this leg straight, okay? I'm gonna twist her body until that leg comes off the floor. Now, from how much time that I've done this, I know that her back leg here was off the ground. I know that. So, looking at it again, I pull her across my body so that her leg is off the ground. I already know her leg is off the ground. And then I'm going to take this leg, foot right here, my left foot, bring it in, and then I'm gonna take this leg over like this and take it out, okay? That one is a little bit harder to do slowly, so I'll go a little bit quicker, and you guys can check the feet now even quicker, okay? So right here. Can we do the other side? Yes, we can do the other side. Yeah, okay. Good point. Ready? So again, block, grab, choke, okay? So I'm bringing this right foot here, into this foot like this, okay? I'm nice and tight like this. Now again, I'm pulling across my body, okay? I'm pulling across like this, nice and low. My left leg right here, I bring in a little bit because I need to lift my right leg off the ground to be able to sweep her foot. So I'm coming in, lifting this leg off the ground, sweeping that foot into my stance. She does her break fall and <laughs> I do my punch, okay? Up you come. All right, so there was the foot aspect of it right there. I'm gonna zoom back out again so you guys can put all those pieces together. Okay guys, so here we are back in a normal view. Now, I kind of bolded it on how I was saying it with my voice, that I pull across my body, okay? Now, this is the final count comité, the trickiest, the one that is the most fun to do, but it's also obviously the one that most of you struggle with, okay? This is one of the key points why, okay? Some of it is the attacker who's being swept is a little scared because obviously they're being lifted off the ground. Guys, for number three, number five, and number six, I'm going to bold this, okay? I'm going to highlight this right here. Don't be scared. If you guys are scared, you actually increase the chance of injuring yourself. Or even worse, you increase the chance of injuring your partner, okay? And neither of you wanna get injured while you're doing this. You want to benefit from this here. You wanna learn from this so that if somebody out there is trying to hurt you, you wanna be able to have access to this knowledge so that you can turn it against them, take them down to the ground, and say, nah, buddy, not today. And then you get out of there, okay? So, 
We're gonna do it again in the standing position here, okay? So you guys can see the whole body, all right? So, face block, grab, choke, coming in. If I pull down, okay, like this, her back foot is coming off the ground still, okay? That's actually making us both off balance. Let's try and put our balances together. So I push her down like this. All of her weight's leaning forward, all of my weight's leaning forward. Watch what happens if I bring this foot in and I sweep. Okay? See this? This is not a good situation for me right here, okay? So, that is why I stressed you guys when you have the position of the person here, okay? I'll do it facing you like this. Okay, put the foot right beside me. There we go, there we go. Okay? <laughs> so, if I twist across my body, like this, look at her foot. Look at that, it's like some ballet right there. My back is perfectly straight, meaning that when I do my sweep, I can stay upright, okay? And again, the stance, when you guys are done this, make sure after you're done your sweep, you land forward a little bit, but then you should try and move your weight a little bit back so that you don't get caught. You don't get caught a little too forward and then they try and pull you down, okay? Obviously, in a real situation, because here, I don't want to hurt Brianna. I'm trying to practice this out, trying to get the sweep. So I don't want to sweep her down and go bang, and she gets winded. <clears throat> but in a real situation, sure, twist across you, sweep, let go, let the guy fall down to the ground, okay? But that is not completely ideal, as if that doesn't affect him that much, you guys twist, bone, they're right there for an additional punch. Okay, so when you guys are doing this, make sure you twist that body, sweep. You might be brought forward a little bit, but make sure after you are brought forward a little bit, you back up safely so you can do a strike so that they can't pull you over. Okay, now we're gonna do it one more time, a little bit quicker, and then we're gonna move closer for you guys so you guys can check it out with the three other blocks, the outside, inside, and the low block. Okay, so we're gonna do the face punch again. And again, I already stated, and some of the other Count Kumite videos that, ooh, voice crack, that <laughs> with the face punch, why we focus on it so much is because that's what society is known to do if they're in a fight, they want to go for the big headshot, okay? That's not always the case. We shouldn't really strive for that. As people, we should try, if we're in a certain situation, to go for the chest, to go for the legs, to go for the groin, okay? Hitting the face is not a bad thing, but Personally, for me, I prefer the throat or the neck over the face, okay? So, we're gonna do the number six again. This one's gonna be the quickest of the bunch here, okay? Boom, grab, choke, coming in, twisting across my body, back leg off, sweet, she does a break ball, man, and then punch down, okay? And there we go. Okay, everybody, up. Please be advised. Brianna is not a trained martial artist, so she does not have the credentials of being able to perform the side breakfall correctly, okay? That's the only downfall of, obviously, the pandemic that's going on, and it's the only person I have access to to be able to do these. So we just gotta work with what we got, all right? So now that we're closer, I will not be doing the sweep this close to you guys. Like the Count Kupche, number three, number five, I'm going to be showing you guys closer how to do the hand movements, and I've already done how to position yourself, it's just going to be the block and the choke, okay? And I'm just showing you guys here that this can be done with any block, okay? So switch sides, just so that you can see the outside with a better, from a better view, okay? Boom, boom, choke. Right, so grab, choke. This is also a good one to do, guys, because then you're going to the other side to do your sweep. It's also a good idea to practice all these count comités, especially when you take them down on both sides, okay? So now left leg in front, we'll look at the inside and the low, boom, grab choke, okay? Just like that. Now the low block, low block, choke, okay? Good. So there it is right there. That is your count comité number six. Try it out. This one is tricky but it's a lot of fun, especially when you get it down, okay? So, 
Hopefully you guys, guys enjoyed this one. This video here wraps up completely all six Kyung Kumite's. Make sure that when you guys practice all six, that you practice them in order. And I guess, I hope you guys enjoyed all of these Kyung Kumite videos. Keep close eye outs for all the upcoming breakdown videos that I have for you guys already posted and soon to be posted, okay? See you guys later, okay? So I would like to thank Brianna for helping me here. Um, if you guys have seen most of my videos, you will know and see that I have listed them as made for kids. So the comments are disabled. But for these videos here, I will post it as not for kids, just that you guys can go on and comment and giving a big thanks to Brianna because I wouldn't be able to do these partner videos here if it wasn't for her, okay? So give a like, subscribe, and keep an eye out for the upcoming breakdown and Kian Kumite videos up ahead.